Welcome back to another Take Intra video. In this Take Intra video, we'll be explaining how to bring up the uh, color palette, also known as the color chooser. If you have experience with Paint or Photoshop, uh, you'll have noticed that when asked to select a color, uh, it, this sort of window shows up where you can pick colors in a variety of different ways. There are either those little boxes with some predefined colors, there's also that color chart with a continuous range of colors out of which you can uh, select one by clicking on it with your mouse. So that's basically what we're going to be uh, creating here in Take Inter. And we'll also be showing you how to actually uh, use the color that you select from the color palette. So let's get right into it. Okay, <clears throat> begin. We'll start off by creating a button which will trigger the uh, color palette, uh, color chooser. All right, let's do this real quick. Color chooser and command over here comes the function that will be called color. You could technically call the ask, ask color right from there, but then that would be that would have some separate issues. So let's just do it properly. Right. Let's make that function, and we'll just change that to self dot color. Color, self, and then we'll put. All right. We have to make one additional import. We could do it without it, but then it'd be really long, like this. Color chooser dot ask color. So instead of doing that, let's just from take enter dot color chooser import ask color. Ask color is the name of this function, of the function that brings up the color palette, all right? Result, or actually values, all right? Because the ask color, uh, the ask color function returns a few values, more than one, which will be stored as a list in this uh, variable or list values, all right? Title, um, color chooser, all right? And let me just print out these values here for you, to, for you to see. All right, now let's run this. And here we go. Now we click on this button and the color chooser should activate. Uh, yep. All right, now uh, just so you know, this will, this uh, is sort of OS specific, right? So I'm on Windows, so if you're on Mac or something, this might look a little different, all right? So, but the general purpose is gonna be the same, obviously. So yeah. We can select any one value from here. We can see the RGB values that are here as well. And there are a whole bunch of different options. You know, like as, as you can typically expect, there are custom colors over here as well. So let's just select a color, right? Okay. And here we have this printed out. Okay, it's a tuple actually. Uh, the first, this, you see, is uh, the RGB values, all right? uh r g and b the ratio right uh, they have a range of 0 to 255 all right and the second is the hexadecimal value this is what, what we'll be using mostly in take enter when assigning colors to something like a label or something all right so this is uh, just focus more on this one so yeah the first one is rgb second is the hexadecimal value so let's take a look at how to uh, change the color. Like let's say what we were trying to change the color of the text in the in the GUI and which is why we were uh, using the ask color function. So let's just create a label right here. Self.label, tk.label, self.frame, text, text is equal to uh, change my color, All right? Self.label dot place X is 30, Y to the 100, okay. Now just to see if it's all, it's all positioned correctly, okay, it is. Let's not print that out. And instead, we'll use the configure function, all right? The configure is basically used to modify the parameters of an already existing function, all right? So normally you would use the FG function over here for foreground color. But we can't do that because 
uh, it's not we don't have the color uh, defined at start so we're gonna you know like we're gonna be calling this function after we find out the color you want to change it to so over here we'll write fg is equal to values one right uh, this is this will retrieve the second value the second value from the tuple all right which is basically the hexadecimal value so let's run this and see what happens all right let's pick something like again we'll go with dark blue okay and there we go as you can see the color has changed um, now obviously you, you can go a lot further with this you can even uh, start po changing fonts in uh, a variety of different ways you can change a widget uh, widget colors as well their backgrounds as well so if you actually i suggest you take a look at the fonts video we have as well because if you're interested in using the color palette to change the uh, the fonts the default fonts fonts in the gui window you should really take a look at that video all right so yeah that's it for now if you want to see more content like this in the future make sure to hit the subscribe button see you later